Chapter 6, Lesson 3, Variables and Expressions. Algebra is the use of symbols, such as letters of the alphabet, to represent numbers. Variables are symbols or letters that are used to represent an unknown number. Algebraic expressions contain at least one variable and an operation. Here are some examples of algebraic expressions. The letter x is often used as a variable. Therefore, we show multiplication in other ways to not confuse the letter x with a multiplication sign. You might see 2 times x with parentheses. You might see 2 times x with a dot. Or we often just write a number next to the variable, and this represents multiplication. Variables in an expression can be replaced with numbers to be evaluated or to find the value of the expression. Example 1. Evaluate 15 plus a if a equals 21. So if a equals 21, we can take 21 and put it in place of a. This gives us 15 plus 21, which equals 36. Evaluate x minus y if x equals 56 and y equals 18. So if x equals 56, we can replace the x with 56. Minus if y equals 18, we can replace the y with 18. This gives us 38. Evaluate 5 times b if b equals 1 half. Remember, a number next to a variable means multiplication. So when we plug in 1 half for b, we have to multiply it with 5, which we can show using the dot symbol. 5 times 1 half, I can put a 1 underneath my whole number 5. And now when multiplying fractions, we multiply numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. Now because this is an improper fraction, I want to convert it to a mixed number. So 2 goes into 5 two whole times, which gives us 4. So we're left with 1. Denominator always stays the same. So this equals 2 and 1 half. Try these yourself to check for understanding. Example 4. Evaluate 7r plus 4 if r equals 3. So if r equals 3, I can plug in 3 in place of the r. And remember, a number next to a variable means multiplication. So you should put a multiplication symbol in between both numbers when you replace the variable with a number. Now to solve this expression, we need to use order of operations, or PEMDAS. PEMDAS tells us that we have to do any multiplication or division before we do any addition or subtraction. So first we have to do 7 times 3, which gives us 21. Then we can add 21 plus 4, which gives us 25. Example 5. Evaluate 4y squared if y is 1 fourth. So I have to plug in 1 fourth for y, but first I need to remember that a number next to a variable means multiplication. So I'm multiplying 4 times 1 over 4 squared, because here we have y squared, and y is 1 over 4. So we need to do 1 over 4 squared. So 1 over 4 squared means 1 over 4 times itself. So this becomes 1 times 1, which is 1, 4 times 4, which is 16. So 1 over 4 squared equals 1 over 16. Now we can bring down the 4 and multiply it with 1 over 16, 
we can put a 1 underneath our whole number. This gives us 4 times 1 is 4, 16 times 1 is 16. We can simplify this by dividing the numerator and denominator by 4, and we get 1 fourth. Evaluate 10x plus 7 if x equals 1 fifth. So I need to plug in 1 fifth for x and multiply it with 10. So this becomes 10 times 1 fifth plus 7. Order of operation says we need to do multiplication before addition. So I can put a 1 underneath my 10 to multiply my fractions. 10 times 1 is 10. 1 times 5 is 5. Bring down my plus 7. 10 over 5 can be simplified to 2. Then if I bring over my plus 7, this gives us a value of 9. Example 7. Sarah is wrapping a gift for Christmas. The box has side lengths that are half a foot. Use the expression 6s squared, where s represents the length of a side, to find the surface area of the box she is wrapping. Write your answer in square feet. So if I'm using the expression 6s squared, I know that s represents the length of a side, which we were given is 1 half of a foot. So s equals 1 half. So I can plug in 1 half to my expression. A number next to a variable means multiplication. So I have to multiply 6 times 1 half to the second power. Because this is s to the second power, I have to do 1 half to the second power. 1 half to the second power means 1 half times itself, which gives us 1 fourth. Now I can bring down the 6 and multiply it with 1 fourth. I can put a 1 underneath the whole number to multiply my fractions, and this gives me 6 over 4. 4 goes into 6 one whole time, and we're left with 2 fourths. 2 fourths can be simplified to 1 half, so this becomes 1 and 1 half feet squared. Try these problems on your own.